What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 Heavy Rescue video. And today we'll be en route to a semi truck that jackknife going around and turned too fast and went down the side of a hill. So let's hop in the Kenworth Heavy Wrecker and let's make our way over there. And I think that we'll be pulling this out and we'll be towing it back over here since there is a lot of damage done to the truck. And I'm very excited to be starting the new Heavy Rescue series here which we did have back in FS15 so it's going to bring back some great memories and it's going to be a lot of fun uh, setting everything up and just having a lot of fun towing all these wrecked vehicles and everything like that so we are now making our way over there which is actually a little bit of a drive but I don't think we'll get there too far and take too much time but I'm very excited to be using this truck back here in FS17 it's a nice truck and it's always fun to use awesome mods like this. So I will be doing a mod review. If not already, you guys will be seeing one. So we'll definitely kind of make our way over. We'll be taking this turn right over here. And it's just down the road. So this will definitely be a little bit of a shorter video. But we'll be doing plenty more heavy rescue videos. And if you do have any cool ideas for these, let me know down below by smashing the comments with some awesome ideas. So hopefully we get to tow everything back. We might have to take two trips depending on how damaged the trailer actually is. So hopefully it's not too damaged that we do have to take two trips. But if we do, that is fine. And it should be just down the road. It uh, took the turn too fast and went down the side of a hill jackknife. So definitely some pretty bad damage. And I think that we probably will tow them back separately and stuff like that. But we'll definitely come to a complete stop. Not even sure if this is a four-way but you never know and especially with a brand new record like this we do not want to take any chances or damage this tow truck so we are I think it's just down this hill police have not arrived yet I will be looking into getting us some police cars soon those will definitely help us out with a lot of cool things like that it looks to be at the top of this hill yep that's where it is so I think that we do have to find a pretty nice area to turn around Probably go down the street because I definitely do not want to turn around in this intersection. But take a look guys. We'll definitely turn our lights on just so that we have them on. And look at that. A truck down there. Wow. That's a very uh, bad incident. And I don't think it's going to be smart for us to kind of uh, turn around in the middle of the street. So we'll definitely turn down here. And there's a parking lot right over here. It is dirt. But over oh well. We can definitely kind of just turn in here. And I think that we'll do this like little loop-de-loop -loop thing definitely be a lot easier like I was saying than turning and uh, pulling a u-turn with a large truck like this so as you guys can see it in the distance over there right in front of us it did go down that hill pretty bad so I think we'll definitely tell them both back separately even if it is this even if it is connected we will definitely do that but it possibly could be connected so not exactly sure but definitely going to be uh, using this truck and getting it dirty since it is on grass so we'll pull over here and wow it looks like we aren't going to be able to get it from that we'll definitely see if we could just try to get it from the truck area so let's kind of uh, back up here we are on a hill so we are now kind of having to deal with a lot of the problems we're working on a hill but I think if we could back up here we'll lower down the tow bar and hopefully it goes down low enough to go to that front bumper we'll see are we can't even get underneath there very challenging and look at that the uh, whole back of this stroll oh, and looks like are we going under very hard to kind of see having trouble kind of getting a good viewing point looks like right here is going to be good and this is just at one of those spots where the whole truck can just kind of go at any moment down this hill so we have to be very careful on that but let's see awesome so we got it connected can we lift up? Looks like we are unable to lift up. Let me see if I... Looks like we are uh, missing the truck just a little. And the more we kind of lift, the more it kind of slides down. Awesome. We got this. Let's see, guys. We are definitely pulling a wheelie. Uh-oh, guys. Are we going to make it? Looks like we are having problems trying to pull a wheelie. And not really realistic pulling one. But take a look at that, guys. We got it. We'll definitely kind of pull off to the side of the road. Hopefully we do not hit that trailer against that. And look at that, guys. We got it over here. We'll definitely pull over to the side of the road. Is there anything in front of us? There's a little pole there. We'll definitely pull 
and I think we'll get out, take a look at the damage. It looks like the trailer is not actually rotating. As you guys can see, it's not as exactly straight. So I think we'll definitely uh, take two trips. Not that long of a process taking two trips either. So we'll definitely hop in this truck, disconnect that. And I think towing it back one at a time is definitely easier, especially since it is a shorter load. So I think what we will do is we'll drop this in. We will definitely just readjust. Always uh, good to kind of readjust if you can get a better uh, attach on it. Awesome. So we got that on. Looks really nice on the back of this truck. And this was the only in-game truck that was able to work. And I did try out some modded ones. And they also did not work. So I just decided we would be using the in-game truck today. So I think we'll head over to the shop and drop this off. This Kenworth did a great job at pulling it up out of the hill, but it also kind of needs some work on it, and I think we might need to uh, definitely look to see if we could get some different tires for us, maybe customize these tires, something cool like that we might be doing to this truck, and maybe even changing the uh, logo. So let me know down below, guys. Should we change the logos to, say, Square 2448 towing? I think that that would be very cool to do. Just to kind of put our name all over this, even reskin this, but I kind of like it in this large, big red tow truck, if you would say. But we do have our lights on, and we are definitely towing this back very easily. It's towing well and not really having any problems with that, but it looks like some of our running board lights are on, something like that, so we might have to look into that. But I'm very excited to be starting this series, and like I was saying, a lot of you guys really did enjoy it back in FS15. And this was one awesome series. So we'll definitely be doing some very cool ones. And uh, definitely a very cool one tomorrow with a lot of cool stuff like that. And I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the channel. You guys are awesome with all of the uh, likes. Do all the positive feedback. You guys really are great fans. And I do thank each and every one of you. So I think what we'll be doing is we'll be backing this in. And the owner will definitely have to tell us to, to kind of uh, have us bring it to a repair guy because we don't really repair them at the moment. Our company is not large enough to kind of set up a repair shop yet, but I think that it will be pretty cool to repair these. So we'll definitely back up here, detach that, and lower it down. Take a look at that, guys. I really do like this tow truck a lot, and we actually do have some pretty cool new features like uh, the... A uh, vehicle that we are towing does move, especially when you are towing it. That's awesome. It used to not do that before. So I think we'll make our way over, get the trailer, and I think that we probably could have towed both at the same time, but that would be one long, long uh, trailer and uh, definitely one long tow and setup, which I don't think we should really be doing. But I think that if we do have... Uh, not enough time. I think that that would be something we have to do. So we're just on the same street and we'll head back over there. We are now passing by some train tracks and it's always a good idea to kind of stop. Make sure that uh, there's no trains coming. Luckily, no trains do work on this map unless we are driving it, which is awesome. And like I was saying, I'm not exactly sure why we have those extra lights on. But we'll definitely turn off our LED light bar. And I don't think we'll need it. Especially when we are just towing a trailer. Since it's not really anything larger than what we would actually be towing if we were on a semi-truck. So I think for this one, we won't really be uh, trying to go all that distance to turn around. So I think what we might actually do is turn in right here and just back down how far is it down there looks like it is a little bit of ways but i think backing down it might be just a lot easier so we'll just back down we'll be on the side of the road and I just have our lights on i think that actually this will definitely be one slow process but definitely a lot easier than trying to turn around and stuff like that but while it is doing that we'll definitely get the boom all set up have it all kind of uh get lowered and once we come up to kind of the tree line, we might back up on the grass, depending on if there's traffic there. But we'll definitely turn our hazard lights on, and we'll definitely have all these lights going. Definitely to make sure that everybody behind us knows that we are kind of backing up 
and uh, a lot easier than turning around at the bottom of a hill, which could potentially be very dangerous. There's not too much more backing up to do, but I think that uh, we'll be trying to do one heavy rescue video a week. I think that'll be pretty cool, and uh, maybe something cool like that, and uh, awesome stuff. So we'll definitely back up here and attach. And I think that we'll definitely lower this down all the way, and get that in. We actually can attach it, but take a look at that, guys. This acts almost as like a fifth wheel, which is awesome. So we'll definitely attach. Awesome, so we got that attached, so we'll now make our way back with the last piece of the uh, semi-truck that was crashed, and I think that we'll be doing some more, probably more uh, intense, more uh, ones that do require us to do a lot more stuff with the tow truck, and uh, some stuff maybe in the water, or maybe even rolled over. I think we should try to do a rollover accident where we call up a crane even, because sometimes you just gotta call in more and more uh, tow trucks and equipment and especially since this isn't exactly a rotator that rotates we could definitely just call in a crane but I would like to see if it is possible to build a rotator I think that that would be awesome but we are almost back to the shop now where we will be calling it a day but like I was saying earlier if you guys would like to see more let me know down below in the comments and also let me know down below if you do have any cool video ideas. I'm always open to making ideas with your uh, awesome feedback and stuff like that. So we'll take one wide turn here. And definitely this Kenworth did a good job. But I think that we'll definitely do those upgrades. Maybe uh, do a video changing out these uh, textures for some square 24, 48 towing. Heavy Wrecker. I think we'll do Heavy Rescue. So square 24, 48, Heavy Rescue. I think that that will be a very cool thing to do. But we are now back here at the shop. We definitely got these successfully and uh, the owner definitely will have to come over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first heavy rescue of FS17. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.